All right, legends, the price of Bitcoin is hitting crucial level of support. I'm going to keep it very simple in today's video update. The levels that need to hold as support, because if we lose them, we're going to get a massive, massive drop. And also, what levels do we need to reclaim to see those highs that were created a few days ago above $65,500? Keeping it simple, looking for the highest probability movements, make sure to stay tuned because we're also taking a look at the liquidity here on higher time frames and lower time frames. And we're also taking a look at some very interesting bullish news for the mid long term. Let's dive in here right away. First of all, I want to talk about a short trading setup that was entered here at $64,100. It was mentioned in the Legends trading community. I post updates every single day on day trade and scalping scenarios. This played out very, very nicely to came, claim below $62,500. If you do want to join the Legends Trading Community, you have the link down below for those daily updates. Now, this trade was taken on Mexi. Mexi, for the moment, is still the leading platform where you have the lowest fees and you get an incredible bonus down below if you cannot trade on Bybit. Bybit is my number one crypto trading platform with also a great bonus. However, it is KYC and I know a lot of people cannot trade there. Let's dive in here straight into the meat and potatoes. We have here the scenario of the price of Bitcoin holding this major zone. What major zone? Well, basically the lower high resistance trend line here that we've had from the last few weeks. It's currently still above that level. We are below the value area low of the entire range of March and April. However, we haven't got a large move to the downside. It looks very corrective still, and we do definitely have a chance to maintain this zone. What is the most important level? of support that we need to take into consideration. Well, let's zoom in here on the lower time frame, such as the 30 minute time frame and analyze here the levels that need to hold. Level number one, and basically the only one before we get a huge major drop, is the $61,800. We do have here a naked point of control from Friday. When we get the session volume profile here, the SVP as an indicator on the top left, we can see here that this high volume node could maintain us as very strong support. This is almost sitting here at the big lower high resistance trend line. They also should be maintaining our support. I want to see the price consolidating at this range, having a few attempts in breaking down, but overall failing. And if we do get that consolidation, just like we did here on Monday, where we formed those double bottoms, we also mentioned that double bottom for a long trading setup here to come back here to the valley area high, played out very, very nicely, then followed by the short trading setup provided yesterday in the Legend Trading community. So no doubt that this area is very interesting to take into consideration for a long position. Now, what I want to see here, like I said, is the price maintaining this area in the next coming hours. I do think that we could have an attempt and try and breaking down. And if that attempt fails to break down, then I would take into consideration a possible long trade setup. Looking at this as impulsive, this as corrective, we maintaining the support level and we're looking to rise in the next coming days to claim that high here created on Monday above $65,500. If we do not consolidate here, we do not hold this level. If we lose this 61,700 to 800 range successfully, okay, a little bit of choppiness beneath that level and a reclaim is going to be looking pretty good because the bears will be losing steam. We will be having also a very strong bullish CVD divergions on Bybit. When we do zoom out here on Bybit on the higher time frame on the 15 minute, and we zoom out, we are actually forming very strong lower lows on the CVD. And from the lows here of the beginning of May, we are forming, okay, very, very strong higher lows on the price action. So we can see here that lower lows are forming on in the yellow, which is on Bybit, which is giving us that bullish CVD divergence, giving us the possibility in maintaining the $61,800 range in the next coming hours. If we do lose this level, 
like I mentioned, there is a big gap here of no volume. Look at the session volume profile here from Friday. We have no volume. This means that there is no support. And when we have a fast move to the upside, if we lose that level of support, we can have a very fast move to the downside. So it will be dangerous to attempt any long positions if we lose 61,800 because we could be coming all the way down to the March and April lows. This blue horizontal line here that we do have here on the chart sitting at 50. $59,100. This is where we're starting to see a consolidation as well. And this is obviously where the price could get a stop right over here at this range, because we do have that consolidation, that high volume node as well. And this is a zone where we could maintain our support. However, I would be very, very cautious here. I would want to see the price stopping, getting a reaction to even think about taking a long position because this could be very messy. We'll be losing the lower high resistance trend line as support and losing this consolidation point of control. And it just this area right over here is just going to be looking very dangerous. If the price action gains some steam, we could no doubt come all the way to the lows here created on the 1st of May at 56500 $500. So this is going to be a game of patience, right? Wait for the zone to hold as support, get a bit of a consolidation. And of course, we'll be doing another update as soon as we do hit that zone. That is if we do break down from this level. So what happens if we do bounce from here? Now, you may ask me, you might, okay, we did not hit the naked point of control. We're starting to bounce right now. The levels that we need to reclaim is the value area low of this entire range of the last few days. If we do get back above the value area low and the weekly level that was lost here during the last 24 hours, we are looking here for a very strong recovery. I don't mind not longing here this level, okay, and missing the long, but I would recognize that this would be a sign of strength. You're getting back above the value area low of this consolidation. You're getting above that weekly level that maintained beautifully as support during the last few days. That would be a sign of strength. I would be looking to get into some scalp and day trade long positions if we do get a solid breakout above the $63,000, because no doubt in my mind, there will be a very high chance that we're going to claim the value area high of the range and start claiming these highs from yesterday. So this is going to be a sign of strength if we do get above it. And I would be looking for continuation to the upside. And I don't mind jumping into some longs here after the pump, but it's going to be a safe bet. I will be recognizing that this is a sign of strength and we're likely going to see this as a corrective structure. And then it's off to the races to start claiming the lower highs of the last few days. Let's take a look here at a little bit of news going on worldwide. We do have Mr. 100, which is the guy that is, um, well, the guy or the business that is adding 100 Bitcoin at a time. He actually purchased over 502 Bitcoin from the, the mined Bitcoin that was from yesterday. We have 430 billion asset manager Susquehanna International just reported owning 1.2 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin across 10 ETFs. We have also here Donald Trump presidential election win will be positive for Bitcoin and crypto standard chartered bank says. I mean, I know that he has been very against Bitcoin. He is in love with the dollar. He only believes in the dollar. Uh, but I think he's actually, always, you know, stepping into crypto slowly, but he is. So this could definitely be bullish for the, uh, basically for the US, right? Maybe we're going to see some different regulations if we do see Donald Trump being elected. We have BlackRock and Fidelity now own a combined of 427,000 Bitcoin worth $27 billion for their spot Bitcoin ETF. That is more than 214,000 Bitcoin than MicroStrategy. So no doubt that is a huge amount. That is more than 2% of the entire Bitcoin supply. That's very, very bullish for the mid long term. Arkham identified a new U.S. government wallet containing 3,940 Bitcoin over $251 million seized from a drug dealer in January. 
Guys, this is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining. I will be doing a live stream later on. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and smash up that like button. And if you haven't checked out my Bybit tutorial to learn how to trade on that platform, make sure to check it out to trade there like a professional. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.